Hey everybody, it's Victor Pisano with Charge Up. Hope you're having a great day. So look, I teased you a few weeks ago and I told you we'd be having a new segment on Charge Up. It's crazy, so four months since launch, July 11th, we've introduced the blog series, we've introduced our podcasts, and by the way, the podcasts got so popular, we now are featured on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, iHeartRadio, Google Play, SoundCloud, we're still on Libsyn, and the best part, with our video content, go subscribe to our channel on YouTube, because you can also catch all the podcasts on YouTube as well, so you get the video and you get the audio. But anyway, you know, we're doing all these things, and we keep adding more stuff. I mean, who has Fortune Cookie Friday? I mean, that's leadership at its finest. Who does Monday Motivational Rant? We're getting crazy over here because Charge Up, it's leadership unplugged. We enjoy ourselves. We're not gonna be stiff. We're not gonna have our collars up tight. This is real situations. So with that in mind, new segment, Wisdom Wednesday. Here's what we do. We pick a leader who is somebody who has worked very hard to get where they're at, who started as an aspiring leader, worked hard, figured out where they need to be, they had the plan of action, they followed it, they exercised patience, integrity, character, all those things to build a business. And that's how we'll pick it. Now here's where the challenge comes in on Wednesday. Uh, Wisdom Wednesday. Andrea, the two W's, that's a tongue twister. But here's where the fun comes in. They get 60 seconds. There's no punishment if they go past 60 seconds. It just sounds fun saying 60 seconds. So for our inaugural, I picked a great friend of mine, Mr. Chris Powers, who both of us, proud Aggies, absolutely proud Aggies. Uh, Chris, five years, United States Air Force. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Thank you. And the amazing thing is, he has been in this career for 18 years. And I thought about it last night before today, which means I've been a client of his for about 17 years, because right when he started, uh, I jumped in and he is now my financial planner. Uh, I'm still a million dollars short of being a millionaire, but his strategy on lotto tickets is incredible. <laughs> Things are working out really good for that. But, uh, you know, this is somebody who I have firsthand had the ability to witness uh, their leadership style, witness their work ethic. That's probably the big one. Chris to describe uh, integrity, character, values, but as a financial planner, he has to exercise something that most don't, uh, and that's patience and goal setting. Not only for himself, but everybody he represents. So imagine that. Uh, people are paying him to manage large amounts of money, and they have their goals. He's got to meet their expectations, make sure they're realistic, but he also has to teach them a sense of patience. So that's why I thought Chris would be the perfect person to start Wisdom Wednesday off with. So I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna throw his question out at him and we'll go from there. So Chris, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Sorry for the long intro, but it's our first one. You're inaugural. Fantastic. You're number one on the list today. Nice, that's where I like to be. So my question to you is, in an incredible 18 year career, your achievements have been phenomenal, not by accident. You know, you've earned what you've gotten. What are those leadership traits that have brought you 18 years into this career to have the ability to manage your staff, to empower them, to lead them, and to be successful? Well, I'd say over the years, or at least earlier in my career, you know, I looked at uh, problems when they came up as more of an, an annoyance than anything. And really just wanted to find out what happened who did it, and then manage things from there, manage the person from there, um, instead of necessarily looking at you know the, the the process that's involved. And so you know, as kind of time progressed, and I, when I was in a, a lieutenant in the Air Force, I ended up uh, really starting to ask the question why. And that really became my favorite word mm -hmm. was why. It wasn't so much that I was being insubordinate or uh, disrespectful, it was questioning 
the procedures that were in place in the Air Force and saying, okay, well, is there a better way to do it? Is it, you know, is it a, uh, is it a personnel problem or is it a process problem? And so that's where things really started to started to change. I started looking at, uh, at least in my business, when something came up or something went wrong, instead of, you know, saying, okay, let's manage the person, let's look into the process, bring the team together, engage the team, instead of pointing again at the person. So you took more of a macro approach. Yeah. Right? So if the, I mean, if, if your process is broken, you can have the best people in the world in that place, and having people get beat up on or scolded for the things that are going wrong where it's the process that's broken. So those are opportunities to do things better than your competitors and also keep your team happy. That's a pretty fair analysis and that's amazing. I mean, we I can't speak from personal experience, but those that I do know who are either currently in the military and or retired, such as yourself, uh, it is amazing how many lessons they fall back on toward business mm -hmm. and they apply because I think with most of the branches in the military there is a structured foundation that in reality it doesn't change there's certain things in business that will always be the same oh absolutely uh, and, and it's good sometimes to go back and refresh yourself and sharpen those skills that you got from the military mm -hmm. that's a great example of it's carried you through 18 years oh and the, the the team the, the the culture that you're building when you bring people together to solve problems together is fantastic. I mean, it's so so far reaching, and um, you can see the attitudes change. Mm -hmm. And once you kind of once you get that culture, once you get that um, that camaraderie, you'll never want it to change. So let me close with this question. You've named a few of those traits, a few of those things. What is the one characteristic of leadership that is your go-to? In other words, what can you always fall back on, whether it be uh, in critical times, challenging times, you need to make a quick decision? What's that one key trait you fall back on? Always doing the right thing for your clients. That's it. Simplicity, and that's easy to teach. And sometimes it may hurt, you know, maybe, you know, there's, there are a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of pressures put on you to, you know, either, uh, you know, perform, produce, um, and sometimes people's, you know, desire to reach, you know, those goals that are put on them, uh, take them in a direction that may not be uh, something that is uh, uh, consistent with your values. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and, and, and I think once you deviate from that, um, you know, the, it, it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a slippery slope. Without a doubt. That's your integrity. At that point, that's everything you're made of. Exactly. Wisdom Wednesday. Does it get any better than that? It's just taking a little chunk of your time, but it's learning something. If you can think outside the box, if you can do some critical thinking and do some self-evaluation and ask yourself the same questions, You'd be amazed. Get 1% better every day and leadership occurs. Now, here's what I want to challenge. If you have a story for us, if you'd like to be featured on Wisdom Wednesday, I want you to DM, DM us. You can do it social media or you can send us an email at chargeup uh, at satx.rr.com. Send me what your Wisdom Wednesday topic would be. Let me know a little bit about yourself. Don't forget, we can do this on Skype. We can do it on the phone. You don't have to live here. We'll figure out a way to do it. But Charge Up is all about dialogue. It's about expanding our community. That's what our goal is. It's also a pay it forward concept. So if you've got comments or you've got something you want to add to what Chris talked about or a personal experience where Chris's wisdom did prove to be true, put it in the comments below. Okay? Share, like, let's get this thing out there. I want to thank you. Uh, get ready because you're going to be seeing Wednesday and Wednesday once a month, another new feature. I, I was going to close this thing out, but the great thing is my buddy over here already knows how to take care of it. So, Chris, it's all yours. You know, can you do one thing for me? I'll do anything. Okay. Here's my slogan. I like that. And, you know, we always talk about empowerment. You're empowering. So, it's... it's
Empower Wealth Advisors, empowering your dreams. And you can't empower your dreams until you charge up. See that? Code Brandon. It always works. <laughs> Chris, thank you for your time. Thank you, Victor. Have a great day. We'll see you guys.